back to Hermitcraft. Oh, are you ready? We have a little bit of progress. A little bit of progress. We're not even close to done, though. But I'm taking a little break here because I want to just kind of evaluate what's going on here. Now that we've done like a full... This is the first full loop of the system. Basically, like purple started down there. It looped up and it came there. So we did a little bit more than a full loop right now. And honestly, I think it's looking... It's looking better than I even anticipated. Better than I hoped. There are... Some minor problems, though, that I've had to uh, deal with, and that's with that inner stone chamber. There are a couple extra places where things are, like, poking through, and it's just... Well, let me see if I can go to show you. This is not going to be easy, but... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this. But anyways, inside here, you can see one right... Wait for it. Wait for it. Right there. And 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 there. And, and, and there. And, and other places. But anyways, I don't really care. I don't really care because it looks amazing. And the only people that know are, is the, is a few of you guys. <laughs> and I'm okay with that, all right? Because it looks amazing from the outside. So, let's see. Let me get a little stationary here. Okay, so there it is. It is on all its glory here. I think I made the tower that high. That's not the height we're stopping at. I think I want to go-ish. I'm thinking maybe double what we have right now of this part. Like two full... You know, wrap around, wrap around. So basically, from it'll be about that high, and that's pretty good. And then, what I do with those towers at the top, I'm not sure, because like I gotta cap this thing off with something. Do I turn them into like a couple of snakes or something like that? I don't know. I'm definitely gonna be looking for ideas there too. Uh, but I gotta take this tower. I gotta extend that up, and I gotta extend it down too. I gotta practice this too. This is this is horrible because this is gonna kill me here eventually. Probably right now. All right. <laughs> so I want to take that tower and move it to, like, right here, too. So that I can, like, you know, converge this area into that tower. I think that's definitely something I want to do. Uh, but we're going to take a break on this. And I'm realizing that I want to get... Oh, look at that. <gasps> Everything's fine. <laughs> I thought I nailed the landing there. I didn't. So here we are. Here we are. As you guys know, Demise... It's heating up, right? It's getting real. People be dropping like flies lately, okay? And I've noticed one little trend is all the hermits seem to be building their own little their own little bunkers where they can go feel warm and cozy and safe about themselves. And it's not it's not really making them safe. But I, as the entrepreneur that I am, have noticed a an opportunity here to uh perhaps capitalize on this fear. So we're going to open a little business today, and uh, to get things started, I've kicked off this little commercial. I think you guys might like it. Let me know what you think. Hello there, fellow air-breathing hermit. Has Demise got you feeling nervous? Perhaps a bit insecure? Or even haunted? Do you feel like your demise is inevitable and it's just a matter of time? Like disaster could strike at any moment, like any step you take could be your last. If so, you need to contact Tango's Safety Bunkers, where we'll teach you safety one accident at a time. Every handcrafted bunker we construct comes standard with the following features. For starters, your bunker will receive our patented Pokey Defense System, which will guarantee your enemies are full of pricks. You'll also get a bunch of sweet berry bushes for you to lounge back and enjoy in complete safety. These will of course serve as a wonderful infinite food source for you, and they're guaranteed to have a thorn to berry ratio below 20%. And of course, your bunker will receive a safety campfire to keep you both secure and cozy during those troubling times. Because remember, an open flame is a safe flame. And we also offer all those luxury options that every bunker needs, like wall-to-wall -wall heated floors, beautifully striped wallpaper and curtains, and of course, our signature glimmering crystals to show off your sense of style. Now at this point, you probably can't even imagine a safer place to hide in like a coward. But remember, we pride ourselves on constructing the safest, most solid bunkers that your useless diamonds can buy. So, how do we do it, you ask? Easy. When devising a proper bunker hole, many complex factors must be weighed and calculated. Careful forethought and meticulous calculation. We're always careful to use only the safest decorations and embellishments in your bunker so that nothing could possibly happen to you. 
And once complete, you can now rest easy in your impenetrable safety bunker, knowing that nothing could possibly go wrong. So remember, if you are alive and living in fear of demise, or just dumb and rich with diamonds, then come visit Tango's Safety Bunker, located in the upper red wing of the shopping mall, because at Tango's Safety Bunkers, we've upped our safety. So up yours. Hey, hey, what do you think? What do you think? I think we've got a gold mine on our hands here, guys. We're gonna have to build a separate storage room for all the diamonds that the Dharmits are gonna be handing over to us. F5, F5, okay. Uh, this is gonna be amazing. So we gotta build this place now. We gotta build this place. And the money is just gonna start rolling in. Ah, oh, okay. So we're gonna put it here right in the mall, right above our good friend Ethical Iron here, so I can get a little one two combo here. So we're gonna dig a hole up there, and we're gonna put in Tango's safety bunkers. You see, the good thing about people who are afraid for their lives and just want safety, they don't care about looks. They just wanna be safe, and that's exactly what we're gonna do here at Tango Safety Bunkers. We are going to make them safe, and it's not gonna be pretty, and that doesn't matter. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and let's get some red walls in here. Mm-hmm, of course we got the red striped wallpaper in now, and we've gotta hang all the beautiful curtains. Of course, it's part of the design. da 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 Yes, this is already looking safe. Perfectly safe. Uh, the only thing I was thinking though now is we've got we got these torches here. The torches are kind of plain. I was thinking, like, what if we took those out and I was thinking of replacing them with redstone torches. I think that might add, because we're going with a red vibe in here, right? Should I just put one right? If I just put some red, mm, no. Let's just stick with the regular ones for now, I think it's probably best. We'll see, we'll see. Now, of course, we're gonna need a bed in here because the cowards are gonna be hunkering down in here for days on end, probably. So we gotta give them a place to sleep. We need to give them a place to get a little, little cozy going on here. So we'll do a little bit of, we'll do a nice fire for them, sit around the fire, get a little bit warm and everything. And of course we need, we need a good ceiling light here. And I figure what best than the safest light possible. We're gonna do one of these lights right there, yes. Ultra safe. Nothing could possibly go wrong with that one right there, right? So the safety is just off the charts here. And of course we have Tango's safety bunkers uh, proudly displayed up there. That's the first time I've used dye. And I like the white dye I'm on the dark sign. Pretty good feature. Pretty good feature. All right, uh, back to business here. Uh, obviously no bunker is safe without the patented Pokey defense system. And by the way, that's an acronym, P-O-K-E-Y. Um, it doesn't actually stand for anything yet, so I'm going to leave that up to you guys to let me know what the Pokey Defense System uh, probably only kills evil. I don't know. Help me out. <laughs> what does it say for? So this is our floor model here. So, I mean, we're opening a business here, right? We're trying to sell safety bunkers at top dollar here. So... This floor model has got to be fully upgraded. It's got to have everything in it. And therefore, I think it needs to have all the luxuries that uh, Tango Safety Bunkers could provide to you. Oh, see? Look, look. Did you see that? If I was... <laughs> if I... <laughs> I mean, if I was an evildoer, I would have just been 100% deterred by the pokey defense system there. I... I mean, if that happened, I'm gone. I'm gone. I am not infiltrating that safety bunker. I'll go find another. Thank you very much. Where were we now? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, luxury uh, upgrades. So we got to put in, and this is this is a deluxe option here. So the whole pricing system, obviously, is going to be a little a la carte here. You, you know, you get what you pay for kind of thing. So we're going to put in top of the line, fully upgraded, heated floor panels here, right? I mean, if you're going to be in here being a coward for weeks on end with your knees banging together... You gotta keep warm. You gotta keep warm here, right? I think I think I might wanna, I think I might wanna shadoodle the bed over here. Oh, my feet, they're so warm. Ah, oh, see that? You can hear them sizzle. Oh, they're so toasty. Ah. Oh. All right, all right. So you wanna talk about upgrades? You wanna talk about luxury? Uh-huh. Tango safety bunkers, we invented the luxury here, right? Like, so we, yeah, my feet are very warm. <laughs> very toasty. I'm very glad that my toes are toasty and stuff. So luxury at its finest here is nothing but our pet. Ah, oh, Pokey's Pokey defense system. <laughs> nothing but the best here on our floor model. We're going to put in our top of the line Tango's safety bunker 
Bam! Ow! Oh, it's so safe in here. Look at that. Nothing. Nothing shows. So I'm gonna die. Nothing shows off your taste and style like some top of the line crystal things that have no name. Crystal bunker butt warmers. I. That's what we're calling them. That's what these things are called because that's exactly what they do. All right. So we just coined the term. That just happened just now. It's amazing. Uh, all right. So here we go. Right. Like Tango's safety bunkers. This ain't no mom and pop shop here, right? You don't just come in here and put your diamonds in a machine, in like a vending machine, and out pops a bunker. No. No. We are a custom build enterprise here, okay? Can you even imagine a safer, more comforting place to rest? I mean, look around, right? Look around, guys. It's... This is the most comforting environment. I mean, I just want to start punching right now, right? Don't you? Don't you just want to, like, stretch out the arms and see... Ah, oh, it's just beautiful in here. It's beautiful in here. Interested in a custom safety bunker of your own? If so, contact Tango for a custom build that suits your lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Prices are negotiable, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, we're back at the base here. I'm wrapping up and putting back some of my leftover bits from that amazingly serious build. And I want to get back to... I want to get back to the spiral outside the base. I want to finish that off or at least get pretty good progress on that today. Uh, but there's this thing first, alright? There's this thing. Wow, 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 you're extremely loud. There's this thing here, uh, like, 114 came out, I think it was like, like a couple days ago? And there's this thing in 114, you may not know this, it's, there's some right there, in fact, look at that. This stuff is amazing. It's called scaffolding. It's like, you can place it, and it goes up, and, it, it, I need some! Now, my good buddy, Mr. Impulse SV, said that he's got a, uh, he's got a, a bamboo farm down here that I could go yoink some stuff from. And I think we got a little thing up here that I need to light that should take me to that. Because we don't have a, we don't have a portal to get to that area. I think they should, this is either going to take me to Sugarcane Cow Farm Villager area or... <laughs> How about not? <laughs> Definitely not a bamboo farm. I'm gonna bet it's this one right here. Yes, yes. Hey, look at all the good stuff. Okay, I gotta figure out how this, oh, uh, remember all this? Oh wait, I haven't been over here since I rejoined. Look at this. Oh, look, he's got a crazy pumpkin farm here. This is my cow farm I made. I should really make sure this works. Look at this, this is the land of lag and happiness and lag, extra lag. <laughs> Okay, I remember this cow farm. How did this work? I, I forget. I think you came over here and you sat your butt in where? How do I get in here? Yeah, it's in here. Yeah, I press the button. I come over here and I stand here. Yeah, the, the cows shake all their bits and I just I just right click. And if I remember correctly, yes. Yes, all the wheat is delivered from the villager farm. Yeah, I gotta use this, man. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out how to operate this thing, and I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it involves, like, fairy dust and little gremlins and maybe some pancakes or something. I'm not sure. I have no idea what the on switch is, but I did figure out that this is his uh, storage area. I guess, I'm guessing, like, the bamboo goes under the ground and then bubble ups here and everything, and then it swoops around this ice thing and it goes in all of these i think so he, yeah he's just got like he's just got shulkers for days so, i mean you know if, if he missed a couple i don't think he's gonna mind okay we're back and a lot has changed i put in quite a bit more work i got a lot done in the live stream i added this little lake here uh because there's a high risk of plummeting to your death and water is better to land on than uh than grass and spotification but check it out check it out Mm -hmm. <laughs> the spiral, the inner spiral, goes all the way up to the top. And by the top, I mean the top. Let us, let us check it out. I'm not, we're going we're gonna to float down just for effect. Ja. Floating for effect. Appreciate the effect. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, it takes like 17 rockets just to get out of here. Uh, okay, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? We are at maximum height, and uh, we're kind of done. We're ready to start decorating. It's very spirally and giant, and I love it. I love it. Look at this thing. Perfect. Okay, so we are at, we finished it all up, and it's looking amazing here. Let me, let me swoop over here. Uh, uh, okay. Wow, that takes a lot of health. Am I, 
Man, I'm taking a lot of health on things that shouldn't take a lot. Check it out. Anyways, spirals going up. It looks amazing. I am so happy with how this turned out. The planning paid off. The platform with the with the lanterns on it is really good, and that's key to what we're going to do next here. Uh, but the spirals are great. There's only a couple places on the inside that I was telling you about that I had to sacrifice and kind of make some off-color stuff and break the pattern on the inside. But on the outside, it should be amazing. Uh, there was a couple places, you know, I had to... I had to go by and inspect, and there were some places here and there where I missed a block and stuff, but I think we're pretty good now. So, with all this out of the way, and by the way, that was about 427 hours of work, so I'm glad it's done. I'm going to nom on a carrot. So, as I was saying, these lanterns here on these on this platform here, these are going to be, uh, these aren't going to be the only lanterns in this build. What I want to do here, let me, uh, let me find a little spy. I'm climbing as if it's going to change. It's just a spiral all the way up, Tango. All right, what I want to do is I want to hang lanterns from the spiral. If, like any place where it overhangs like this, I want to hang lanterns down with like uh, a uh, an, an iron bar and a lantern, a, you know, a thin iron bar and a lantern on the end. And I want to do it all at like random heights and random lengths and random positions. And we're going to play and we're going to see, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it, but I want to get enough in there where it kind of feels almost like, you know, fireflies in a forest at night so let me get some bits and some bobs and we're gonna do a couple and see what it looks like so something like this i decided to go with an end rod at the top that actually touches the spiral then one or more iron bars with the lantern at the bottom and i went with the iron rod for two reasons really one i think it looks a little bit better to help like it's fastened on better but it also obviously provides lighting right up underneath the build which will help make it brighter at night so we've got a few in here i want to test them out let me I want to make this one here be okay let's break that and i want to try and get this one to come down a little bit more like i want to have varying lengths like so far they're kind of all at the same height here and i want to make some that are much different i mean you can argue like should they be the same length or the same absolute height here like these are different lengths but the same absolute height i want to yeah, let's break that one and put this one at a different absolute height like that yeah okay Let's uh let's see let's see what we're looking at. Let me shoot over here. <laughs> there's still a llama sitting here. Hi llama. How long have you been here? Well, there's one angle. Oh, I missed one. I missed one right there. There's going to be lots that I miss here. But I think I like I want to get more on the outer perimeter like they're too close in, which unfortunately is a pain. Like the ones I did there, I could kind of do like without jumping and everything. The ones out farther, I'm going to need to get some scaffolding and stuff going. But I, I like the pattern here, and I think it's going to look even better at night. So I, I think I just need to get started and start spiraling up to the top. Okay, it is as done as it's going to get today. We are on the camera account, and we're flying up the spirally shaft. It's extremely slow. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I wanted to do this at nighttime so you guys could see what it looks like. And I think, I think I'm pretty happy with it. I got all the strands at different lengths here. Let me speed the camera up here a little bit. And show you what we got going on here. Uh, I like it. It's like it's kind of, like I said, like little fireflies swarming around a forest kind of thing. I really, really want to hear your feedback though on this. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if uh, if you think there's any other ideas because I'm by no means am I done with this build. There's two things I want. I want your feedback on the the little floating lanterns, uh, and also we need uh, I, I need ideas for the top here. Okay, the top is definitely not done. I can't just leave it like this. There's a couple of things I could do, like something like, you know, twin dragon heads spinning out in opposite direction is kind of what I'm leaning toward. Uh, but I don't know if that fits the build or the build I got going on below underneath or what. It's kind of tough. It's tough. I mean, requirements, I need to be able to still fly in through the top here so I could move these out a little bit and then put a couple of dragon heads or snake heads or something. But I really, really want to hear your feedback on, on what to do there. Um, there's something else I want to show you, though, too. I have a resource pack I'm going to put on right now, and you're going to like it. And we are back. We are back. And uh, Hermitcraft looks a little bit different now. This is a monster spawning resource pack, which I didn't even know exist. I thought you needed a mod for it. I will leave a link for this in the description in case you guys want it. It's insanely handy. Many of you probably already know about it. I did not, but I used it to check the spiral, because I really don't want any mobs spawning here. There are a couple spots, you can see right there, and one right there, where mobs could spawn, and I'm okay with a couple. I really don't want to sacrifice the placement of the lights, but I had to go back and tweak some of the lengths and everything, and get up on scaffolding again, and readjust them all and everything, but 
it's pretty good. It's pretty spawn proof. Obviously, if you get down here on the island, that's all spawnable. But yeah, if you go inside my uh, my area here too, it's like, this is crazy down here. There's so much work that still needs to be done down here. Very interesting resource pack though. And that is all I got time for today, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. This episode took a huge amount of time with all the editing and this entire build and everything. A ton of time went through it. So I hope you guys appreciate it. But uh, I want to say, as always, guys, I want to really thank you for all the support, all the comments, all the feedback and the encouragement. Thank you for welcoming me back to Hermitcraft. I know it was a long time, but I'm so happy to be back and doing my thing again here. So I really appreciate it, guys. Leave some comments on what you would do with this build, what you do at the top, the lights, everything. I really want to hear your feedback. So drop me a line, and I will do my best to answer as many as I can. So with that said, I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Goodbye.